Hello Geminis, this is your reading for June 2019. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I hope everybody is doing well in the month of June. And always. Alright guys, let's see what energy do we get for my Gemini? What love messages do we have for Gemini for the month of June? Gemini. Hmm. Okay, we're not going to take all three of these because we're going to do a Celtic cross here. But I see the Two of Wands, and this is needing to decide what exactly it is that you guys want to do. Okay. Um, the Six of Swords energy is here, and the Chariot. Uh, I'm feeling like there is a decision to be made here whether or not you are wanting to move on with someone or whether you are wanting to move on by yourself and do something new. I'm feeling like this Cancer energy is about um, doing something new, establishing a new um, living quarters, um, a new relationship, or either working something out with somebody from your past is what I'm getting from this uh, energy here. This is, of course, Cancer, Aquarius, Aries energy. And then I saw the lovers under the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely a choice to be made here. Okay, let's see. The energy that is around you guys right now is the Nine of Pentacles. Mm. That's Virgo energy. But this is all about... Um, being secure within yourself do you want to stay like single or are you wanting something more are you wanting a family dynamic here okay let's see what's crossing you <clears throat> the three of Pentacles this could be for some of you all about um, establishing a new living quarters um, establishing a new job even working on that uh, do just doing something totally different at, by way of um, your career even okay for some of you for some of you this is again the three of Pentacles is all about compromise and working things out doing what you need to do um, in a partnership and are you willing to do that are you wanting to do that or do you want to remain single uh, definitely some choices to be made where you want to spend your time how you want to spend your time even okay let's see the underlying issue here very grounded energy then we have the eight of Pentacles hmm. sometimes I feel like you you think about building with someone but then you also fall back on you know just being comfortable by yourself um, no hassle like hassle free you know I feel like that's the issue it's like do you want to um, stay by yourself you're more stable that way or are you wanting to work on a connection whether it's with somebody from the past or with someone new because I'm getting that there is an investment here already that you are considering for a lot of you guys. Could be with the Virgo, Capricorn energy, does not have to be. But um, there is definitely your stability is a uh, 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 main focus for you. Okay, let's see what was going on in the recent past. Ten of Pentacles. This is a lot about your um, financial situation, I feel. And some of you may be deciding um, between two or three different situations of being single, um, being with somebody from the past, being with someone new. And I think that basically your decision right now is, is primarily based on who can bring you or what situation can bring you the most stability in your life. In the recent past, I feel like maybe there was a concrete relationship or marriage even here that um, you guys had established and then you decided to be single. 
okay you decided to be single and basically work on yourself work for yourself for your own benefit and so I feel like the issue here is that um, basically you wanted to be single there was I feel a breakup here either in a marriage or a very committed relationship that I feel like you guys are kind of you know you're rethinking right now it's all earth energy Virgo is very strong here let's see what your crowning thoughts are the five of cups um, I'm feeling a lot of regret I'm feeling emotional um, and I don't feel like you're comfortable with this actually I feel like there's something that you want to bring um, balance to in a situation. This is Scorpio energy. I'm feeling like, you know, there was a chance to like, I'm feeling missed opportunity here because I'm feeling there was a chance to reunite with somebody that was um, extending to you emotionally and I'm feeling that there there's something going on within you guys that you're really wanting to compromise at this point um, you really don't know how to for some of you now granted this situation can go vice versa it could be this other person thinking this about you but I'm definitely sensing missed opportunity here to reconnect with someone from your past Okay, let's see what's coming in for my Gemini's three of wands. This is Aries energy here. This is somebody that is has basically is using the law of attraction. They're not really doing much by way of um, like actively pursuing someone. This is somebody that is using the law of attraction they feel like they've done everything necessary to bring in things that they deserve and want and desire in their life this is somebody that is willing to compromise this is somebody that is adventurous this person is here though they're here I feel if you guys are really wanting to be there with them that's the thing I feel like this person um, is very attractive to you. I feel like maybe there's some kind of communication going on between you guys. Maybe maybe not like via telephone, um, email, social media. But I feel like there's something that is happening between you. Whether it's in your dreams or what have you. Synchronicities even. Like seeing numbers repeatedly or seeing this person's name. You know, things of that nature. But there's definitely somebody I feel like that is waiting on you. There is um, a strong potential for growth here. We have two threes. Um, I don't sense like a third party relationship. I do feel like there was somebody that decided to be single um, in this connection. Because there was a committed relationship I feel here. Let's see how you guys are viewing this situation. Page of Pentacles. There's something that you've learned, I feel. There's something that you guys have discovered um, about what it is that you want for your future. And I'm feeling like this is, this is, there's something that you want to start again or start anew even. Okay, not really wanting to jump into things with both feet, but definitely wanting to work on something here. Let's see, what is the influence for my Gemini's? Seven of Pentacles, because you have indeed made an investment here in this situation. This is your card. You've made an investment already here. You've already planted seeds here. 
there was something that you feel like either grew to the Ten of Pentacles or that has a potential to grow to the, the Ten of Pentacles. But you know that it needs to be worked on. There needs to be time invested longer into this situation. You, you're wanting, I feel, to continue to almost pick up where you left off because now we have the three and the seven of pentacles, which is also the ten of pentacles. You're wanting to, I feel, bring back a connection and it may be surrounding this Aries um, Scorpio energy because Aries and Scorpio, they kind of put off the same kind of energy. They're both ruled by Mars, so um, they are, you know, doers basically okay so um, I'm definitely getting that you guys are wanting to compromise in a situation but I feel that this is something that you're thinking about and you almost feel like your hands are tied tied and and kind of don't know how to proceed hmm let's see your hopes or fears it's a page of wands. I feel your hope is that this person will be willing to hear you out. That this person is still interested. And of course your fear would be that they're not interested. That they are, you know, out looking for new opportunities. Exploring new things in life, I feel. Hmm. Let's see what the hopes, your hopes, not hopes or fears, but the... There we go. Overall, look at this. I cannot make this up. I'm going to take all these cards. Look at this. <laughs> this is a new conversation. This is talking things out. This is making a decision. This is Scorpio energy here as well with judgment. This is deciding that you want to start over, having learned all the lessons from the past, wanting to start over. Taking a leap of faith, this is the end of the tarot. Of course, judgment is 20, the world is 21, leading to a, a new start here. Look at this. And then we have the Four of Wands. This is another Aries card here. This is also a relationship, a marriage. A strong bond being tied together in a good way. There's a very strong potential for a solid, happy relationship for you guys. I'm feeling like lessons, there have been some really, really hard lessons that you guys have had to learn and endure, but I think you figured it out on, all on your own, which is what we're supposed to do. Nobody can make us do it. Nobody can lay out that format for us. It's something that we have to recognize within ourselves, within our lives. And I feel like you guys, as well as this other person, has done that. Honestly. I see a new start for a lot of you guys in the month of June. Very stable energy. Um, Virgo, Aries. Virgo is strong here. Aries is strong here as well. Um, Scorpio energy. We also have maybe another Taurus like you guys. Um, Aquarius energy. And Leo. Okay, guys. Um, it's not limited to those signs, but that is just the energy that I see present for you guys, okay? So that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.